Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Ray and I make natural hair videos and other videos in between. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically refresh your box braids, make them look brand new again. So basically we're going to be going from this. You can tell that these are like frizzy. They're kind of growing into each other. You see? This is about a, this is literally a month old. Um, these are knotless. So you're not going to see any knots here. So they do look a little bit different from classic box braids. You can still see the parts, of course, but we're just going to tighten them up a bit and make them look more fresh like that. So to do all this, I'm going to be using a edges brush slash comb, shea moisture, jojoba oil, and akuba butter lay down that core. And I will be using a blow dryer. So if you don't have this lay down lacquer, this is made especially for braided styles and protective styles. So if you don't have something like this, then you can obviously use gel or edge control. Edge control would probably be the best thing to use. Gel is probably just a little bit too loose. This is more tacky like that. And you're gonna go straight down the part. Now we're going to take our edges brush and just kind of figure out exactly where those loose hairs are going. Are they going to this side or that side? So you're going to brush it. So now that you've laid down the middle, now we're going to do each individual one. You're going to take some more of the whatever you're using, whatever butter or edge control that you're using take some of that and we're just going to put a little bit more around the edges all around the sides and rub it in twist around probably once or twice and that's it now it's not going to stay in the twist so i'm going to be using a pin to keep it on that side like that and then you're just going to repeat that for each braid so i'm going to show you guys again take a little bit more of the edge control or whatever you're using, put it around the edges and twist it probably once or twice and then pin it to that side. Because I'm only wearing my hair in this part, I'm only going to go ahead and fix those parts because you don't need to do this for your entire head, you just need to do it to make your hair look decent. I do typically wear these on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they're twisted all in the right direction. Alright, so now I've basically fixed up all of them. I'm I am going to go in with some more and I'm going to go and separate them. And that's basically it. So now to actually really refresh the plaits itself, you're going to use some mousse this is the olive oil wrap and set mousse you can use whatever mousse that you like this is just what i'm using and you're literally going to and then you're just gonna If you have a dryer, a blow dryer that goes on a cold setting, then you want to use that. This is really, really important to set it. You want to blow dry it so that it goes like that. Don't go this way because you don't want to like make the hair stand up. You want to like do it backwards so that you're kind of like, you know, going in the direction of where the hair is laying. So. Looks look good. It's just not popping at all. But the 
parts look nice. Now, like I said, this isn't a permanent fix. This is obviously going to be something that you have to do every probably like once, maybe twice a week, depending on how frizzy your hair is and what products that you use. Because some gels or edge controls or um, like lay down that core, like they're all different consistencies. So some might be a lot heavier and they might hold your hair for a lot longer. Some might not. This next step is also equally as important. You want to go ahead and tie down with a satin scarf, not a cotton one, because cotton will dry out your hair and it won't look as shiny and fresh as as you want it to before you tie it down if you see anything that's flying away anything loose you can just go ahead and apply it as you need it um, these are just the parts of my hair that are showing the most so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on those but once you've officially put the product in all the places that need it once it looks like it's laying down how you want it to and all that good stuff so you're just gonna tie it down with your satin scarf satin Make sure it's set in. So now that is all tied down and you won't take this off until you're going somewhere or you need to take your hair down. That's pretty much it guys. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you guys check out some more of my other videos. I make 4B slash 4A hair content. So if you're interested in that type of content, check out my videos and subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my future content. And I will see you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.